in the Blair Witch Project, the witch, it feels like, is everywhere. Hello? It's almost like the woods itself is the witch. There's not just this one mysterious figure that shows up. The entire experience is mysterious. The Blair Witch Project wasn't the first found footage movie ever made, but it was the first to become a massive hit. We have these three film students going off into the woods to make a documentary about what they believe is an urban legend of the Blair Witch. Have you heard of the Blair Witch? Oh yeah, that, that's an old, old, old story. So from the very beginning, the interviews with the townspeople are all credible. These don't look like actors. These look like just people you would meet on the street. And that crew is every bit as annoying <laughs> as you might imagine a crew in real life might be. Oh, I licked it. God bless them. They didn't care. Yes, CW type, the hunky leads. There were, you know, the schlubs next door, or the, the people in the dorm room next to you. Packs are on. We're ready to go. All I knew when I was gunning for the job and, and, and when I first got hired was. It was a movie about three student filmmakers who went out into the woods to investigate the legend of the Blair Witch, and they went missing. Actors Heather Donahue, Josh Leonard, and Mike Williams were given film equipment and a loose set of instructions, then sent off into the woods. They wanted to keep it as naturalistic as possible. It is the three of us filming each other and recording sound of each other and we would have no direct interaction with the directors of the film while we were making it. They gave us a GPS and they had programmed in waypoints, which were hash marks on the map. And we were to find our way to these different waypoints. So we knew we were gonna encounter things. We just didn't know what those things were gonna be. No way. The special effects, if you want to call it that, rocks and twigs, you know, and things hanging in the woods are so simple that they feel true. They don't feel like something that, you know, a set designer is going to come up with. Hello? They find clues that the Blair Witch might be real. You don't think this is strange? They start to be kind of stopped. They find themselves lost in the woods, and it seems to be due to a supernatural force. <laughs> They start to act irrationally. They end up going in circles. Then they start getting picked off, kind of one by one. In the end, of course, they're all dead. And that's how the footage supposedly came to us. The beautiful moment when she's on the ground and she's weeping and shattering, that actress was terrified and put all of that work into the camera and it came right at us and we wanted to help her. I'm scared to close my eyes. I'm scared to open them. I think without Heather's monologue and that weird framing of that shot, I, I don't think the film works. I am so sorry. I think that very iconic moment made the film and added so many stakes and so much relatability to the film. And Mike and I had no idea that she filmed that until we saw it for the first time in the theater. <laughs> made for $60,000, The Blair Witch Project grossed $250 million at the box office. It was the first movie that used the internet to sell tickets, basically. They used the internet to create a marketing campaign, and it was brilliant. It had never been attempted before. The film was marketed as a true story, a deception supported by a convincing website. I thought that film was real. I walked out of there going, we have, we have, to, find, we have to find these people. Where are they? Here. Here. I hear you. John! It feels like you're there. It feels like something that would happen. Blair Witch nailed it. 